This is how we're doing the mirror management. Um, this little white perf board here, or project board, has a circuit that Wayne designed that uses a sensor that's inside the mirror chassis. It uses this thing right here to uh, detect the location of the inside surface of the mirror. That in turn is fed into a microcontroller that controls a servo that drives a gearbox to control the air bleed into the uh, mirror system itself. Let's go ahead and turn it on and you can see how it works. The system automatically drives the servo all the way open when it first initializes. It does that for five seconds and then drives it all the way closed because the mirror is not in the correct position. So when I go ahead and turn on the uh, vacuum cleaner, or the shop vac, you'll see how it works. As it draws it down, it'll begin to close it, or to open it, I mean. And it's kind of bouncing because it's trying to find the exact spot where it needs to be. And it takes it a little while, but once it adjusts itself out to make sure that it's got the right position, it'll stay that way undisturbed unless something changes like the vacuum cleaner's been messed with or something like that. I'll give you an example. I'll restrict the amount of air it can bleed off and you'll see it compensate for it. And it takes a little while to to navigate its way back to where it needs to be. We're waiting 50 milliseconds between each step to give the uh, system time to adjust to any changes we're making. And uh, over here you can see that it's making a really nice mirror. Wayne did an absolutely fantastic job developing that, that circuit. Uh, he's going to continue with another version that will actually generate the pulse train to drive the servo just to see if we can't pull this off without using a microcontroller at all. Uh, and the microcontroller in question is actually an Arduino. Uh, great piece of equipment. Works really well. When I turn the uh, vacuum off, it will uh, drive it all the way open because it's trying, or drive it all the way closed because it's trying to uh, get the mirror shape back. That creaking sound you're hearing is the uh, framework for the mirror returning to its normal shape. The uh, mirror, when it's fully pulling down, applies about 1,400 pounds of force across the top of that thing. And uh, because there's no real strict internal bracing, it tends to pull the top and the bottom toward one another and uh, that's what makes the creaking sound is it's coming apart and going back together. The uh, production version won't have that issue. Thanks for watching folks.